Hi, I'm Barbara Barnum. I'm the author of Baltimore Garden Quilt, published by AQS, American Quilter Society. And I'm going to show you a little applique tip to keep your work neat and tidy. If you can see through my background block here, there are all these little threads underneath. And that's what happens if you don't hide your little thread tails. So I'm going to show you how to do that to keep your work nice and tidy. When I begin the applique, I hide the first thread tail with the beginning thread in between the applique and the background. And I do that by starting the needle underneath the applique. So I'm going to insert the needle underneath the applique, not touching the background just yet, just piercing the applique and bringing the needle up through. And you see the little thread tail there. I'm going to sweep that back underneath with the needle so that when I begin to turn the seam allowance, that thread tail gets hidden underneath the applique. And as soon as I take a stitch, that thread tail is gone, not to be seen or heard from again, because it'll be hidden underneath all the seam allowance. Now at the end of my applique, when I'm going to end my thread, here's one I'm ready to end over here. I'm going to take the applique thread to the back. And then I'll turn the block over. And I'll make a little loop knot here. I don't make a, a tied knot. I just bring through, oh, two or three threads of the background. Then loop the thread tails around the needle and bring it right through to make a loop. I'll do that again. Oops, that never happens unless somebody's watching. And make a second loop. But the key to hiding the thread tails is to slip the needle in between the applique and the background. You see it wiggling there, so you know it's not out front. And then bring the needle through, and you can clip it off. And this ending thread tail is never to be seen or heard from again. <laughs>